Was there anyone who tried to warn us about something that happened but we didn't listen? Who? Ignaz Semmelweis often described as the father of handwashing. In the 1800s he discovered that tilde tilde infant tilde tilde maternal mortality could be drastically reduced by doctors washing their hands between patients. He was largely ignored and his book got absolutely slated. This is supposed to have contributed to him having a mental breakdown and he died in a psychiatric hospital. Twelve TRW engineers resigned their positions the morning of the Challenger incident in protest against risking the flight. NASA launched anyway. Should have listened. French General Ferdinand Foch reportedly called the Treaty of Versailles a 20-year armistice, i.e. not conducive to lasting peace. World War II broke out approximately 20 years later. Harry Markopoulos. He figured out what Madoff was up to, and the SEC still blew him off for years, presumably because the proof he was presenting required math to understand. Pearl Jam warned us about Ticketmaster years ago. Nobody listened, now we're stuck with them, and only them. In 2005, Courtney Love was asked what advice she, D, give young, up-and-coming actresses. She said, if Harvey Weinstein invites you to a private party at his Four Seasons hotel room, Don, T, go. And for whatever reason, you didn't, T, see her in many movies after that. Every single junior officer working in Afghanistan for the last 20 years who universally called the ANA a worthless POS army and their government a hollow, dead money pit. One of NASA's engineers warned them that Challenger would explode due to frozen O-rings. They ignored him and launched anyway. While not to the degree that it ended up being but Eddie Murphy took a shot at Bill Cosby's holier-than-thou attitude in his comedy special Raw in 1987 during the height of the Cosby show. Sinead O'Connor. Suddenly a cover-up at the Catholic Church of Child Abuse doesn't seem so silly. Cassandra of Troy was pretty spot-on about that wooden horse. President George Washington, in his address when leaving office, he warned against the danger of a two-party system in future politics. He felt that several parties on equal footing would be better, especially in presidential elections. The more legitimate choices, the better. Seth MacFarlane has made fun of sleazy people in Hollywood for years before the Me Too movement. Help I just escaped Kevin Spacey's house, says Stewie running naked through a crowd of people. Lots of experts warned about the FTX fraud. The writing was on the wall. Idiots chose to ignore the red flags and made huge investments. Common people was lured in by the perceived trust. Johnny Rotten attempting to warn people about Jimmy Seville. Billy Mitchell. He predicted a Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in the 1920s, and warned the Navy that they needed to spend more money on air defenses and less on ships. Corey Feldman was on The View or something and tried to tell people that Hollywood is full of predators, and the hosts just laughed at him and tried to make him feel guilty for outing them. The financial crisis that was given by economist Anna Schwartz in 2005. She warned that a housing bubble was developing and that it would lead to a financial crisis but her warnings were largely ignored. The many women who tried to speak out against Larry Nassar and had it get swept under the rug by USA Gymnastics and Michigan State. And Dominique Mosianu who warned us about the Carolis and the corruption in USA Gymnastics and was called a whiner by the mainstream media. Hundreds of girls were molested and there were so many places where it could have been stopped. About 20-something years ago, I read articles in CBC about Eve teasing in India which was basically men groping women and how it would turn into outright gang rapes if the practice continued to be accepted. Ah uh, that Chinese doctor in Wuhan is first that comes to mind. I cannot find the clip but about a year ago at a crypto conference a guy went on stage and publicly said that FTX was a huge fraud and we would all see. David Attenborough, and I don't think we are listening, well certainly not doing enough. The guy in the viral video who said, leave Britney alone. That comedian when the internet was just booming in the 90s saying it could be used for great things but would probably create a narcissistic society. Yeah dead on mate. De My mother. Of course she warned the 18-year-old me about the scumbags I had as friends were going to hurt me one day. Did I listen? No. I was just so frightened of being alone friendless I didn't listen. Then I got hurt badly. 
Uh, Edward R. Murrow warned us about the dangers of the television medium being used mainly for entertainment and how this would lead to an ill-informed population. Kojima warned us about the overflow of junk data and trivial information in our daily lives. William E. Dodd, the U.S. ambassador to Germany in the 1930s. He tried to warn the Roosevelt admin that the Nazis were out of control and going to start another war, but no one in the State Department believed him. Years later, I believe, Cordell Hull, Secretary of State, said if they had listened to him they may have been able to stop World War II. There is usually some warning that a person is going to commit a mass shooting. The CDC warning about HIV being transmitted in the blood supply. That high-rise condo building in Miami in the past year or two, time doesn't exist anymore, didn't an inspector even submit a report to the city or something like a year or two prior to its collapse? Greg Lamond said in an interview after a race with Lance Armstrong, if that isn't doping then Lance is the best in the world. Well Lance took offense to that so he completely ruined Greg's career, Trek cancelled their endorsement to him, and conveniently went straight to Lance. Lance Armstrong is a piece of shit. George Washington warned us about the two-party political system. TLC warned us about chasing waterfalls but based on my Instagram feed I swear it's fallen on deaf ears. Mothman warning about the bridge collapse. Barry Goldwater warning about the infiltration of the GOP by the religious right.